In this video, you'll see how to use a pivot table to create a distinct count. For example, in each region, how many different sales reps were selling our products. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. I've got a pivot table already set up and it's got the list of regions. And if I want to get a distinct count of sales reps, I could put that into the values and it's going to show a count, but it's not telling me how many sales reps were selling in the East. It's just showing all the orders in the East that have a sales rep. If I put sales rep into the row area here, there were eight in the East and five in the Midwest, and that's the number that I want. So going back to this table, I'm going to create a different kind of pivot table by adding this source data to the data model. So I'll click on a cell on the insert tab, pivot table, and here's the important check mark, add this data to the data model, click OK. And you can see it looks a little different in the field list. I'm going to add region. I'll put sales rep into values. We get the same result, but in this pivot table, I can right click, summarize values by, and go to more options. And in this list, at the very bottom, there's distinct count. When I use that, it shows the eight and five, a unique count for each region. 